a question, right? How many of you guys remember the Hebrew Israelites? When I'm talking about the Hebrew Israelites, I'm not specifically talking about the people in the Bible, per se. I mean, the same thing, go ahead and hand. But I'm specifically talking about the guys, the camps, the Hebrew Israelite camps that was in every major city. They're still in every, some of them are still in every major city. But there was a time when it was out there on a large scale, on a grand scale. Isn't it safe to say with everything that's transpiring in America right now that everything that they were preaching, everything that they were talking about on whether it be YouTube or if you ran into them on the street, isn't it safe to say that they were right? Kind of galling when you realize that nut bags with the cardboard signs had it right the whole time. I have a question. All right. So we'll start first by giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harachach Wadash, that belong to our apostles, the bishops, the elders of the great millstone, and greetings, salutations, blessings, much love unto you, hopeful elect. Shalom unto you. Okay, your brother should quiet with a video, and I just want to um go into this. Yeah, the sentiment it is what it is now. All right. You know? Okay, well, welcome to the welcome to the party. <laughs> you know, welcome. Oh, that brings some, you know, to mind. Welcome to 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 the to the grief of understanding that this is all coming. Because a lot of you people play games because you didn't want this to be true, and you laughed, and you scoffed, and you fanned the hand, and you insulted, and you mocked, and and you did all these other things. But now, what what's it looking like now? Okay, what's it looking like now? All right, we even see this over here. Yeah, they put this in movies, man. This was from a movie. This might have even been like a Godzilla or a Pestilence or something movie. Okay. It says, repent, the end is nigh. All right, and if I recall, yeah, it says, prepare to meet thy doom. Right, which, which brought me to another movie. With with the they had a a, a so called prophet out there street preacher right, which this is probably my favorite Kareem Abdul Jabbar, in the movie The Stand, okay the time of the plague has come, on his placard on his cardboard. On his you know, that's what his says. Right, he's in, he's even down in Times Square. Okay. So. There's, there's no, there, we, we've been out here, and it can be a game, it can be a joke, but they put this in the movies, in the clip that you saw uh, at the end of this, let me get it, this clip I believe is from 2012, the movie 2012, okay, and this, and they have a scripture which I was pulling this one anyway, and I'll read it again anyway, Ezekiel 33 verse 33, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Okay, and like I said, I'll get that one. Uh, when you realize the nutbags with the signs had it right, yeah, we were we're the nutbags with the signs. Yeah, okay, we'll be that. We'll we'll be fools for Hamashiach's sake. Okay, that we may win Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That we win the anointing, man, the the, the, the for the anointed. Okay. Who will stand up for me against the evil one? We we well, we've been doing it. Okay, another famous one I didn't pull up, but I I, I got to bring this up because they put these things in movies, and these be some of the best movies. All right, and it's this guy here. Okay, they made you know when you look at movie imagery, this is classic movie imagery. They literally had him with the collar and everything out there. All right. And what was he warning you about these Edomites? And then the one world secret government. They was one I mean in the movie when you when you get it and he was using actual scriptures. Alright. So let me um show you what else. You know, from this movie, one of my favorite movies, John Carpenter movie, you know, I I I, I quote movies and I, I bring up scenes from movies, but you gotta know. But if you continue to scroll, and that's the movie there, the, the um, 
with the little skull alien looking thing. All right. But then you start seeing other images of street preachers out there. Okay. You start seeing this. Okay. You start seeing people out there. And it's like, oh, I see all these kind of crazy ass people out here all the time. Bob Dylan, the last prophet warning the nations before the second coming. Look, they got all this out here. Look, they got all this out here. All right. Jesus, Jebus. <laughs> JC died for our sins. He saves. You know, they put all this out there. Okay. All right. And 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 you think it's a game. Right? But let me let me see if this happens when I Google this. All right, I just grew Google Hebrew Israelite. All right. I was doing the street teachers at first, but you see the familiar faces that come up. Okay. You know, the IUIC and, and black Hebrew Israel, <coughs> excuse me, black Hebrew Israelites. They got the one from um, them Covington kids. Them kids is like 25 years old now. Let's see, IUIC, you, know, you see them, you see all of these. When I brought up something else, man, you saw what's it called? You saw what's his name? Um, The deacon was in there. All right. The famous people, Hamari Stoudemire has become a Hebrew Israelite. All right, there go the brothers over there. All right. Ashy PK, that looks like. All right, but see, this is how a lot of people learn about this. Basically off of Google searches. Okay, look, Chief Ephraim, you see all the popular people. But when you really get into who's really warning you and teaching you the word it's a great millstone you think he is not going to just google, make a google he is going to google you when he's ready to take it cause they already know who's who they got uh, Kendrick or whatever they're going to google you and they're going to come and get you and all your known affiliates and associations alright yeah. it ain't Yah it's Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. But I just want to bring this up so you can see it. Okay. I believe Kyrie knows he's a Hebrew Israelite as well. You know Maya knows she's a Hebrew Israelite as well. You know, um, I, there's a few people. Ant, uh, Anton Daniels. What's the other guy? Anton Dodson. Uh, what's the other guy? The rapper. Um, um, Waka Flocka, I think, knows. There's a lot of you Jakes know. Okay, a lot of you Jakes know you're Hebrew Israelites now. Now, Kodak Black, of course, I almost forgot the illustrious. <laughs> yeah, you know, Kanye may know some things, you know. Okay, great, great. But let's get to some scriptures. All right, this is Matthew 4, verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shah, which is the real name of who you inwardly call Jesus Christ. Okay, his name is Yahweh Shai. Uh, began to preach. He began to preach and say, repent. And what does repent mean? Uh, recognize what your sins are and stop and, 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 and go back to the ancient way. If you understand that uh, sin is eating pork, stop eating that. Shellfish, stop eating that. Sleeping with your, 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 you know, uh, the next man's woman, don't. Go get a woman that doesn't have a man. Okay. Start wearing your beard. There's a lot of things that you can do immediately, you know, to repent. Stop celebrating these pagan uh, holidays or whatever you want to call them, okay? Christmas, Easter's pagan, Halloween, we should all know. We're, we're days from Halloween and we should all know that that's pagan, okay? Praying, fasting, studying the Bible. Looking, uh, 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 learning and looking into prophecy. Okay. These are all things that are meant for the time of now. Okay. And he said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay. Let me get another one. Isaiah chapter 58 verse one. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. That's how we instruct you how to 
repent. We show you what your sins are and your transgressions against the Heavenly Father are. And then you stop doing those things. You call upon him in his proper name and his son's proper name, which is, is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, right? Lord God, right? And in the name of his only begotten son, which is Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bahashem in the name Yahweh Shah, his begotten son, Hamashiach, the anointed, okay? These are things that, that as a Hebrew Israelite, you shouldn't be in question about. There's still people got the names weird and wrong and, and, and don't know prophecy and, you know, and this is what we're out here for. We're not out here to just, just come out there and be a, a um, what's that called? A little Zoltar <laughs> thing or, uh, you know, you go to the carnival or whatever, arcade, you see the little Zoltar or to be the magic wonder eight, eight ball or whatever. Just answer, answer me now. We're not here for that. We're here. For those that come sincere, because we're not here for everybody, all of our people, we're here for the Israelites. Okay, those that have the the, the spirit on them, to, that that are signing and crying, that that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast, and we're out here to warn those people. Everybody else ain't meant to get it, man. If you're not meant to get it, it ain't for you. One hundred forty-four thousand and then one third. That's who we're here for. Everybody else, you'll get the message, but it ain't for you, and it's okay. Okay. And when they and, and, and it's gonna come a time that you that you guys are gonna um, acknowledge that we're out there teaching, and, and we're gonna um, and you're gonna wake up to it. But are you gonna do it? Let me get that. Ezekiel two, and three, it says, uh, and he said to me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, the a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even to this very day. And who are the children of Israel? You so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. How do we know that? You go into Deuteronomy. And when you go through all these scriptures, it shows you who these who these curses are upon. These are curses. Who these, the, 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 this befalls. In majority, it's, to, it's you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're in North, Central, South America, and scattered across the four corners of the earth. And here's the scattering here in 64. But the one that, 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 that no scholar can deny is this one here, 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The first time we walked into Egypt and we walked out. Okay, but this time we, we, we sailed into Egypt. How? Transatlantic slave trade for the southern kingdom. And the northern kingdom came over when they left out of, um, out of uh, 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 Assyria. Okay. They sailed around to, to a land, Asherah, the a land that they that they never knew, okay, to the other part of the Western world, and they settled over here, okay, and and they and they explained it. The scriptures explain it in in the second address, the uh, the uh, thirteenth chapter, okay, which I'm not getting into that. I just want to show who these people they are. It says. Thou shalt see it no more again. Where? The land of Israel. We're not known to be attached to the land of Israel. Okay? We're, the, we're, we're not known to be over there. Are there some scattered over there? Yeah, there's probably a few still scattered over there. Okay? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Where? In the new world. The western world. The Americas. We are sold unto our enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you or redeem you. Bring you back to, to your value. They're not over here telling us who we are. The Holy Spirit came upon our own people to tell us who we who we actually are. All right? And there's a history behind that. That's not what this video is about either. All right? But it wasn't some some white man or, or some Asian man came down. Hey, you guys are actually the children of Israel. No. That ain't how we learned. That ain't how we found this out. Okay? The Holy Spirit was given unto us. Through, through certain men, Elijah the prophet, if thou can, uh, John, John, the, <laughs> John the Baptist, if thou can understand, came down and, and, and you know, came down, lived on the earth and, and, and brought us back. Okay, now I'm going to just leave it at that. Now, getting back to the lesson. Okay, it says, um, yep, even to this very day, right? Verse 4, back in Ezekiel, the second chapter, verse 4. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, 
And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power Yahweh. And that's who and that's what we're telling you. We're giving it to you what the words of the Bible actually say from the mouth of the Heavenly Father in its proper context. And as brothers are saying in real time and current events. We're showing you. Okay, these storms are prophetic. That the, the economic woes are prophetic. That the World War III and the tensions in, in the Middle East and in, and in Russia and China and all these other places are prophetic. Okay, that the men that are standing on the corners, it's prophetic. The things they're speaking about, earthquakes and whatnot, is prophetic. Okay? The the the, the implant that's coming, that's that's here, but it's coming to, to, to become a, a mandatory thing. Hey, it's prophetic. Okay, the, those lights in the skies is prophetic. That are moving, uh, that define the, the laws of physics. All of this is prophetic, man. We've been telling you these things. Okay, because they're all written in the scriptures. Okay, verse 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. You're going to know that a prophet had told you. You're going to know we told you this before. All, the word prophet simply means to say before. Okay, or, or someone that says before, prophesy, or prophet, uh, it just means say before. Pro and facade, to say. Before say, say before. Okay, we told you before these events happened. We've been telling you for decades, man. Start with the apostles on down and even their, their elders. Okay, been telling you these things were coming and these things were happening. And we're going to happen. All right? Some listen, some don't. And it's not for everybody. All right? Now, let me get into, um, yeah, it gets into that. I'm going to come back to this chapter. Matter of fact, I'm not. I'm going to come back to the other chapter. Ezekiel 37. Okay. It says, and again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Who are the dry bones? You Jakes, man, you Israelites. Okay, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans who are actually out there trying to fish the elect out of. Okay, and we're prophesying unto everybody. We're giving the heathen their judgment as well. And some of those heathen are actually Israelites that are scattered and mingled amongst the heathen that may even look like the heathen. Okay, we're prophesying unto you, calling those that have the Holy Spirit on them that wake up to this thing and identify this thing to wake up out of it. Okay. Thus saith the Lord Power Yahweh unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, and I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and breathe, excuse me, and put breath in you. And what's that talking about? You're going to uh, live again and know who you are. You're going to come back to knowing you're the children of Israel. Okay? That's how you get the flesh and the sinews on you. And put breath in you. Now, this is the important part. That breath that's supposed to come up in you is this wisdom. That breath of life. From the from the uh, Genesis, the second chapter. Okay, when man became a living soul. Okay, that's how you really become alive. When you get this wisdom on you when you're an Israelite. Okay, and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. What does that mean? That means... That wisdom comes upon you when you fear the Heavenly Father. You know His name. You know His Son's name. Okay, you, you, you're you rehearsing the righteous acts of the law to the best of your ability. Knowing that perfection isn't there. So we're giving this, this, this time of grace to show our faith to the Father. And it's counted as righteousness. Okay. Um, it says, uh, so I prophesied as I was commanded. And, I, and as I prophesied, there was a noise and a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone, okay? And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and there was skin covered, covered uh, the, them above, but there was no breath in them, okay? Because a lot of these people will learn that they're Israelites, they'll hear the message, they'll, they'll connect to it, but they won't do it. But they won't do it. Let me get this one. Isaiah 29, verse 13. Wherefore, saith the Lord, for as much as his people draw near me with their mouth 
and their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart, their, which is your mind, far from me, and the fear and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. Yeah, Christianity has done a terrible job, or or, or uh, uh, of, of edifying our people. We've done a, a, a miraculous job, a marvelous job, if you will, with deceiving us. So now we don't even fear. We we man. You, when you go into these movies, these, especially these black movies, right, and you see the church, it's always a joke. The church is a joke in the black community, and we all know it. We know that the pastors are, were, were pimps, and they talk like pimps, and all the they're entertaining, and, and it's, it's full of music, and it's rare that you come across somebody that's actually giving you a sincere, righteous message, and but even still, it's rarely prophetic. Okay. So, but the prophets are out there on the highways and the byways teaching you, showing you. All right, let me get this one. Ezekiel 33, verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray thee, hear what the word of the, uh, hear, hear what is the word that cometh from forth from the Lord. So they know. That we got the word of the Lord. And we say thus saith the Lord. Okay. And they come unto thee as the people cometh. And they sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words. But they will not do them. Okay. But our people. They hear these things. Oh I got to stop eating pork. Oh man what am I supposed to eat. Like there's not all kinds of other foods out there. Let alone meats. There's righteous meats out there. Told somebody, hey man, you gotta stop eating pork, but you can eat lamb. Nah, lamb. Oh my god, god that's gross. You like you look at them just like like just man, just people are bugged out. They'll eat chitlins, but they won't eat lamb. It's crazy, man. How far gone our people are. Okay. It says, For with their mouth they show much love, but with their heart they go after their covetousness. And what is that? What they want something that ain't for them okay and lo thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument for they hear thy words but they do them not they love the song they love the message they love how strong the young black men y'all keep doing what y'all doing y'all you, you, you men look excellent wow look at y'all they, they, all of them cheerleading but when it actually comes to change, and of course I'm not talking about those that, that believe already. I'm talking about the majority of our people. The dry bones. Even though they get the sinews, and we still get the scoffers, man, that, that, that see us and instantly got demons. You know, the demons get riled up on them. They just see us as the enemy. No different than it has always been. Okay? Reading on it says, And when this cometh to pass, and lo, it will come, then shall they know, that a prophet had been among them. This is the one from the, the 2012 uh, that they wrote in that in that clip. Okay. So we they're gonna know that somebody told you this. That that and that's why the, the guy on the left, not sure who that guy is, but the guy on the left here in the video, he started to realize, like, yeah, I think it's safe to say that the Hebrew Israelites were right. We should all be like understanding like they're right. And this moment has to come. The moment where everybody knows that, th that this is coming, it's going to come, okay? And we're still going to have to discern who's of the spirit and who's not, and who should we teach and who's not, who's infiltrating and who's not, okay? And it's going to be become a very detrimental situation to be known as a Hebrew Israelite. This is a different topic, I digress, okay? But it's not going to be fashionable. To be a Hebrew Israelite at some point. They're already coming for free speech. Who do you think that's for? Us calling out the plays. Exposing. Okay, relentlessly. All right, more precepts. Back in Ezekiel 37, verse 9. And uh, then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, even if no one's listening. Okay? Because as much as, as you people drive by and, and, and you walk by the streets and you see us out there 
and you say that, that we're, you know, uh, nobody listening to them. They ain't got nothing. They ain't talking about nothing. They, you say all these things about us and don't want to hear it and y'all y'all can't, you know. It's okay. We're prophesying to the wind. That doesn't mean that the Heavenly Father's message don't come to pass. It don't accomplish that which it, it is meant to. And that's also why we also upload on, 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 on the internet. Okay? Which is prophesied in the Bible. Not going to get it. Okay? It says, Thus saith the Lord Power Yahweh, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Okay? So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, the elect, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Okay? And what's that exceeding great army? That exceeding great army is what you see in the book of Revelation. The seventh chapter, the 12,000 from each tribe, 144,000, and the, and, and that uh, and the mixed multitude. Okay? And I mean, it's written throughout the, throughout the scriptures. Okay? But those are... Uh, an important one of where it's at is written right there in the book of Revelation. Okay, that's the elect waking up. That's not the whole nation. Our whole nation is huge. But it's going to look like an exceeding great army, right? Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. And this is what it looks like. And where are we cut off from? Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, the Heavenly Father through His only begotten Son. We are cut off. That's why we're destitute out there. That's why when, when any event happens, natural disaster, whatever, as we see these storms and whatnot happening, uh, we get it the worst. Any, any hiccup in society and we get the worst. Even when it's not planned for us to get the worst, we still get the worst. Okay, because we're under these curses because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father to keep it plain and simple. You can read that in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, around the 40-something, 44th, 45th verse. It tells you because we, did, we, were, we didn't obey. We didn't keep our end of the deal of the first covenant. All right? Reading on, it says, um, yeah, uh, I'll read these last three verses in this chapter. Uh, it says, Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Power Yahweh, Behold, O my people, I will open your... And this is what we say. We're giving the words of the prophecy. We're not mingling it with our own thoughts and, and our own feelings. And we're not doing that. We're simply interpreting and giving you illustration and similitudes of what the words actually say that are written in the scriptures. Okay? It says, oh my, behold, oh my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. We're going to go back to the, to the land of uh, the, the Holy Land. Things got to happen first. Okay, but, but, but it will come to pass. And you shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh when I have opened your graves, oh my people, and brought you up out of your graves. And we're in the grave, man. We're in the we're in the valley of the shadow of death here in America. Okay, but we're we're it's it's like almost extended throughout the world because we're under these curses and we're under the, the situation of of literally being, you know, at, uh, how do I say it? Um at any moment it, it can go bad for us, uh, you know. All right. Yep, it said 14, I'll stop there. It says, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. And this the second covenant, right? Then shall you know that the Lord has spoken it, and it performed it, said the Lord Yahweh. And the, yeah, Yahweh Shai initiated the second covenant, okay, which writes it in us, and we'll all know it, and we'll be put back in the land, and we'll be perfect and have all the blessings, and so on and so forth. Okay, that's still to come. All right, we're not at that point yet, but we're, we we speak the the gospel of that of that moment to come. Okay, and we also speak peril in these times as well. All right, I mean this this topic can extend on to to so many so many precepts, man. It, it really encompasses the, the the scriptures. If you take out the history, and even the history has good 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 points to to to, to bring up. You know, but if you if you take out some of that, the rest of it is pretty much 
prophecy and how to operate in understanding this prophecy. Okay? How you should be moving in the earth with this with, with the Holy Spirit on you. Okay, and, and then seeing how not to. Alright? That's what the scriptures are about. Alright? Um I gotta get this one in Matthew 10, verse 5. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, These were the, uh, the original apostles that, that were the, his disciples, right? He sent them out, which made them apostles, said, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, the heathen, and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the scattered lost sheep, those that are in the graves, those that don't know. That's who we've been out there prophesying and talking to this whole time okay been warning you people man that these things were coming and now one of these jakes uh, see it and we jake is you know is, is a slang if you will for jacob all right we've been telling you okay we've been telling you that this was was happening is so as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand and this is what we've been telling you the kingdom of heaven is at hand okay matter of fact so many, so many scriptures. Romans 13, verse 11, and that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay? The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light with this wisdom, man, and how to move in the spirit with this wisdom. Understanding the prophecies. Okay? Knowing that there's a, 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 a rescue and a salvation to be had. But there's also a doom and fear that you should, 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 should move with. An urgency you should move with. And I don't mean with, with the, the speed of urgency. I mean with, with an understanding. Like, I can't slip. I can't misstep. I got to be keen. I got to be, you know. The decisions that I make in, in, in my life have to be according to the Holy Spirit. I can't just make moves. And be like, oh, damn, I effed up on that one. Oh, I know I shouldn't be at the titty bar all night, you know, getting, you know, white boy wasted, <laughs> you know, vomiting and, 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 you know, trying to trying to push up on some, and whatever else, man. Being I shouldn't be in the alleyways doing whatever. Whatever, okay? If it's off, don't do it, man. Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8 says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Okay, and that's what we're out there talking about still. The ancient prophets talked about it and we're talking about it too. Okay, because lo and behold is a thing called reincarnation <laughs> and we're the ancient prophets coming back prophesying about it again. Okay. We fell right back in our lot, according to 1 Corinthians 14 chapter. We're back in our lot, teaching the same things again. Okay, but about this kingdom. Okay, yeah, we we prophesied about, about Babylon. We prophesied about all these other kingdoms, Greece and, and, and ancient Rome. And we're back in, in, the, in, in the rebirth of Rome, prophesying about it again. Okay, and ancient Rome was when our Lord Yahweh Shai walked upon the earth. Died. Came back three, you know, put on a cross, died three days, you know, was in the grave for three days and came back. And then was sent it up into the heavens, man. That was then, and now he's gonna return from the heavens, man. That's what those lights we see. We've been telling you about these things, okay? Gotta get this one. Jeremiah 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Now, something that's been on my spirit about this was the the the, the there's the, the the prophets and those that are prophesied unto. Okay? So not everybody was meant to be a prophet. Okay? So there's some people that are gonna wake up that were just meant to be the friends of the prophets. Okay, the families of the prophets. Okay, but they but they heard the message and they moved with fear. Okay? They, they became the congregation. Not everybody's the preacher or the choir. Okay? But some of us are the preachers in the choir. Okay? Uh, it says, uh, And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, 
Then said I, Ah, Lord God Yahweh, behold, I am I cannot speak, for I'm a child. Okay, this is Jeremiah's uh, story here, right? And some of us were babes in the spirit. We're, 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 we're you know, like my, my thing wasn't, I was a, a, a great speaker, not to say I am now, but I'm, 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 I'm a lot more comfortable speaking in front of people now, especially this word, okay? But the Lord Yahweh said unto me, say not that I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I send thee, uh, I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Okay? Verse 9, it says, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord Yahweh said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Okay? So he told us to put his words. So it ain't us. That's why the credibility is coming to pass. Because these are not our words. Right, these are the words of the Heavenly Father. All right, Second Ezra nine and one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which are these prophecies, which I have told thee before, which were prophesied unto us according to the Scriptures." Okay, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the Highest will begin to visit the world which He made. Okay. The Heavenly Father is about to send his son back to visit the world. All right, and this is what we've been talking about. We've been having the big placards out there and the and the, and the and I remember when he said that um at the Golden Globes, that might have been like twenty fourteen or something, twenty twelve. He said there's men with big placards out there, you know. Uh but yeah, they seen us out there, man. Everybody knows we're out there. Okay? But how many of you are going to hear the message and move with the understanding of the message the way that, you know, to, to, to get your salvation? All right? Uh, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yeah, and when you when you really get to understand this, you learn that the that there's major earthquakes still to come, even here, especially here in America. There, there've been some, but there's big ones coming. And the big ones coming. Let's not act like we don't understand it. The big ones coming. Okay, there's been uproars of the people in the world fighting over Palestine versus Israel, and 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 uproaring about that, and uproaring about Black Lives Matter, and uproaring about wages and and, and, and and mistreatments and, and gas prices and all over the world and unfair treatment by the government okay but look at this wow second edge 15 I'm gonna start at verse 1 behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth Heavenly Father's doing this man he's moving us to put his words in our mouth straight out the scriptures said the Lord Yahweh and called them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, isn't it time to, to recognize that the Hebrew Israelites are actually true? And we should be hearing their message. And we should be trying to find them on the internet and, and watch their videos. And we should be on the street corners asking them sincere questions. You know, how I can change my life. That I may be accepted of the Lord. Okay. Jumping down, I'll just read. Okay, it says, uh, "Fear not the imaginations against thee," which we know they're coming. They're coming to get us, man. We know there's a there's a flood coming in. That's when the Lord, the Heavenly Father, is going to set up a standard against uh, against them. Okay, let not the incredulity, that's disbelief, of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And a lot of those unfaithful that will die in their unfaithfulness will be you Jakes, man. You Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You don't believe. You don't believe the message that was sent to, to, to be given unto you. Okay, therefore you'll be of the two-thirds. Read on, it says, Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. These are the, the plagues that he's bringing like he brought in ancient Egypt. He's bringing them in this time as well. Okay, before we leave out of this new Egypt, Egypt again. 
Sodom and Egypt, okay, referencing some scriptures. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay? Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Now he's going to start moving, and he's starting. You're starting to see the Heavenly Father move. And you can see these, whether it be these storms, these quakes, the, these um, polar vortexes, okay, all these different things are starting to bring slow, a light amount of affliction upon a people. But the heavy amount is coming. The judgment is still to come. And, there, and, and it's not going to be like, well, dang, one big day, of, uh, like the purge, just one big day, and then it's going to be over. No, he's building this day up slowly. This is an age type day. This is a time period type day. Okay, and he's building up with it, and he slowly kill a few hundred here, a few thousand there. Okay, and the number is going to continue to grow. The numbers are going to continue to grow, and, and, and you're going to know that the Heavenly Father is doing this. And the numbers that you see falling off, going back to the spirit world, you're going to start to realize, hold on, it's the Heavenly Father's doing. He's doing this. Yeah, he's doing this. This is that time that those prophets were talking about. Okay, uh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, the people, particularly Jake, neither will I suffer them with those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right, behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And surely, saith the Lord, I will, excuse me, and therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them, receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Amen. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and, and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt was not destroyed like, like this place is going to be destroyed. This place is going to be destroyed. All the land of this Egypt will be destroyed. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Okay, that's enough on that. The Lord himself, Yahweh Shai himself, the Messiah, Matthew 24 in red letter, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, meaning people are going to starve to death, which is going to lead to cannibalism. Okay, and pestilences. We've seen some pestilences in the world already. That invisible 19 one, you that took the JABs, another person is going to uh, uh, come around with that, or two or three, however many there were, okay? And earthquakes in diverse places, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Let me jump down, because this is one of my favorite verses down here. Um, 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. The greatest tribulation in world history is coming in the time that we're living in now. It's to come. It's in the future. We're prophesying this before it happens to you. We're saying it before. Right? No, nor ever shall be. Okay? And it'll never be this bad ever again. All right, the, the worst time in, in, in earthly history will, will, is, the, is the time we're living in. You're alive to see these things come to pass and live through these things or to die by these things. Okay? All right? I almost didn't read this one. I want to read it real quick. I'll just read verse 1. Um, matter of fact, let me read it in uh, in the blue letter, Ezekiel 4. In the NLT, it says, a sign of the coming siege. Okay. The siege of Jerusalem predicted. And this was the ancient siege, but we're telling you, another siege is coming. Okay. There's another siege. And this is the Babylonian siege. And, and, and just siege after siege has been coming upon our people. Okay. That have been prophesied, but we're, we're letting you know there's another siege to come. In these modern times. Okay. And we have to show you. And when you see these big placards and these cardboard uh, um, signs and whatever we have, this is part of it. Okay? 
And now, son of man, take a large clay brick and set it down in front of you. Then draw a map of the city of Jerusalem on it and show the city under siege. We show you martial law. We, we, we read to you the scriptures of martial law. These movies are showing it. We reference these movies to tell you that this is what you're going to be living through. Okay, when troops are going to come through and cut the city off. When militias are going to run rampant through the cities. Okay, these things are to come. When disaster is still going on. Whether it be fires or floods or storms. Okay, and eventually missiles. It says set, in our, excuse me, set up the enemy camp and surround the city with siege rams and battering rams. Okay, and take an iron griddle and place it between you and the city turn toward the city and demonstrate how harsh the siege will be against Jerusalem this is what we prophesy how harsh it's going to be and it's called Jacob's trouble okay Jacob's trouble is to come why is it Jacob's trouble and Jacob is, is who we call Jake but it's you so called Negro Latinos and Native Americans this is you before you wrestled, uh, for our forefather wrestled the angel and his name was changed to, 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 to Israel. Okay. Jacob. All right. You Jake's the time of Jacob's trouble. This is a serious time in history to come. Why is it so bad? Because you're, you're in captivity because you're not free because the system that you live up under is, is according to, 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 to the ruler and what happens to the ruler. And if the ruler is being taken out of power, you're going to catch the bat into the stick. And the ruler is such a wicked man, he's going to come upon you as well. Because he's going to blame our people for, for why his downfall, which will be his why. The problem will be with the two-thirds of our people is you won't understand why this is happening. Okay? The elect will understand. And have been moving accordingly before and, and still will go through it. But through the grace and power of the Heavenly Father, majority will, will make it through. The others will be martyrs. But hey, the point being, you won't understand. And it's going to be the worst time that our people have ever gone through and ever will go through. It's going to be worse for us than anybody else on the planet because we're the have-nots. Okay? We, you know, we don't have the money to save up, you know, $20,000 for a pandemic. You know, we didn't have $10,000 saved up so we can evacuate and still have a nest egg in case a second storm came through. Okay, we don't have these situations set up for us. Jake missed a day of work, man. His whole check could be messed up. And he might come short and have to be at the payday loan before you know it. Okay? This is how this is, man. Food getting messed up. We don't we don't own land like that where we can grow farms. We can just produce mass amounts to, to take care of our community. We don't do that. And even still, the government can still come in and take that land from us and kill all the crops and kill off all the land if they want to. Okay? So you're not free in this situation. The, script, the scriptures say we are yet this day in our kept. Matter of fact, Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, okay? And to be subject to payments. We're subject to payments just to live down here. We got to pay for water. We got to pay for air conditioner. We got to pay for food. We got to pay for our house. And when we're done paying for our houses, if we ever get to that point, we still got to pay taxes on the land, okay? The payments don't stop, okay? We still got to pay taxes. We still got to pay uh, insurance, Got to, or they'll take it. Still got to pay uh, for your car and car insurance and driver's license and fees. We still got all these things. All right. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord, our power. And this happened to us from, from ancient time. Okay. The Heavenly Father, this just happened because our, we, when we were our forefathers, this came upon us. Okay. Speaking of reincarnation, right? Now, I'm pretty much good with that Ezekiel, the fourth chapter, all right? But you have to know that this is going to have an end. The words of the prophets are going to come to an end. You have to know that. And by the time you ready to get to get um, in the troubles and the, and the perils of, of being so, so tough, you're going to want to get right with the Father, and it'll be too late. 
then it'll be too late. Okay, you're going to want to find out what you should be doing and what, what what's coming next, and it's going to be too late because you played around with this grace period. Now the payment is up. Now the Father requires the payment. Okay, now or else. All right? Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, even though that famine will be going all along as well, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Okay, and there will be a famine of the word of the Lord. You won't be able to hear it. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro and seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Okay? Because you played around with the grace period, man. All right? Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. I mean, we're going to stop talking. We're not going to be able to speak this to you. We're not going to slow down and be like, yeah, man, let me let me break it down, man. You can get it, man. Let me break down reincarnation so you can understand. When all this internet has been there and all the videos and everything we've been prophesying about has been on the internet. And then now when it finally comes to pass and they cut the internet, you're going to want to seek us out, see us somewhere, going down the street or somewhere. Hey, man, aren't you that one Hebrew Israelite? Tell me what's going on. And we're going to be like, hey, I, I don't remember. I don't know. We don't know what we'll say, but we're not going to give it to you. Okay? And thou shalt be dumb, and thou shalt not be with uh, be to them a reprover, a corrector, if you will, and they for they are a rebellious house. Okay, we're not going to be that for our people no more at that point. Okay, because you rebelled, especially in the time that you had, that grace period that you had to get right. All right? And how many more storms and earthquakes and, 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 and wars and different things have to break out and before the draft and all these other, and before you're in line with the syringe right in front of you, do you realize that these things are coming to pass, that we've been talking about these things for, for ages now, for years. Ages. For years. Okay. Second Ezra chapter nine verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. They heard the message and moved with fear. Right? Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. He put them aside as a grape of the cluster for himself to give to Yahweh Shai from the beginning. All right, now here's the bad side to this, right? Verse nine, then shall they be in pitiful case. Who, who they? The two thirds that didn't listen, those that didn't take heed, which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, perils and torments for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Okay, they, they you, you ate, you drank, you slept, you had grace period you did all these things but you didn't choose to hear the prophets to know the lord and they that have loathed my law that didn't want to make the corrections in the law that they could the dietary laws certain certain uh, customs and beliefs you didn't want to change while they had yet liberty this grace period right and when as yet a place of repentance was open unto unto them understood not but despised it the same must know it after death by pain. So y'all got to go and hit the hard reset on y'all, man. Come back to the loins of the elect. Okay? There's no more talking about it. So that there's a the people that that's set up for. So if you're not like this gentleman on the left that said, hey, well, shouldn't it be we should acknowledge that those Hebrew Israelites were right? If you're not acknowledging that we're right and you're moving to change your life towards righteousness... Okay, then it's then they you you will know it after death by pain. Okay. First Thessalonians chapter five verse one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, fellow believers, you have no need that I write unto you. Okay, why? Because you're watchmen and you're paying attention. You're watching. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh that the thief in the night come when no one's paying attention, right? When, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Okay? And they shall not escape. 
but ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Okay, why? Because we're on our watch. We're paying attention. When you believe this thing, you start to move, and you you're you're not up there watching Martin reruns or Fresh Prince of Bel Air reruns or Friends or whatever. You're really caught up in in in, in watching the news, watching the, the the prophecies. Okay, not saying you don't entertain yourself, and, and you know, however you do, you know, but you're but you're you're, you're focused on, on the word of the Lord and, and and the events that are taking the place in the world that that line up with the word of the Lord. Okay. It says, but ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Okay, sober minded. Meaning we see we're not drunk and like, oh, I don't know what that is. I can't make it out. I don't know why. I don't know why these storms keep happening. I don't know why these things just keep happening to, to, to these areas and these regions and, and these people and no, watch and be sober. No, oh, okay. When I look at war and I look at the lights in the skies and I look at storms and tor tem uh, tempests and so on and so forth, this is prophe prophecy. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. Right? It says, "For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night." Okay. It says, "Let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith." and love and for an helmet the hope of salvation okay for the most high have not appointed us to wrath but to obtain salvation by our lord yahweh shamashiach okay and i think that's my last script nope i got one more and this will close on this one proverbs chapter one i'm gonna start up at 20 all right it said wisdom cry without she uttereth her voice in the streets and we're on the streets where we're accessible before the martial law hits, we're still accessible. Before they put the laws and uh, and regulations on the internet, we're still on the internet. The information superhighways, we're still out there. Okay, she cried, and this is wisdom. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city. She uttered her words, saying, "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge." Okay. How long y'all gonna live this simple ass life of a slave, man? Aren't you ready to rise up and be kings and princesses of the earth? Okay? In righteousness under our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach? With the, with the wisdom of the Heavenly Father connected to us and the blessings of the Father? Right? Turn you at my reproof, correction. Um, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. And, and when you go into Joel, the second chapter, he, when he pours out his spirit, we're going to have dreams and prophesy and so on and so forth. Things, And we know you people are having these dreams, man. We know. We know that these people are having these dreams. We're having them as well. Whether you understand them or not, we know you're having these dreams. Okay, of a prophetic and disastrous end. Or even of something gracious and wonderful. But you're having the dreams. Okay? It says, I will make known my words unto you, because I have called and ye ha and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. How do we know? Because you're not reverencing the prophets that are out there teaching. Those Hebrew Israelites that are out there with the big signs telling you, hey, the end is nigh. Repent, for the kingdom is at hand. Okay? It says, I will, I will, excuse me, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Okay, what are we seeing? What types of calamity we're seeing? We're seeing storms and 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 and, and, and uh, hurricanes and uh and uh tornadoes. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, okay. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay? So that the doors of mercy will be closed as the ark was closed with Noah. Okay? For they that for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Hey, you, you people are tripping not living with the fear of the Lord, man. Certain things I just don't do, man. 
Because I fear the Lord. I mean, stuff that may not be bad, that may go well for me, uh, some things I just don't do, man. Okay? They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof because the prophets are the ones, those Hebrew Israelites are the ones out there giving you the reproof and the counsel of how to change your life, how to correct it toward the, the ways of the Heavenly Father according to the scriptures. Not according to your feelings or the church pastors or whatever make you pay more tithes to, to the, you know, to the church. No, nah, man. S literally, for, for your soul's sake, okay? Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way. You get what you deserve. You reap what you sow, they say, right? And ye shall be filled with their own devices for the turn away of the simple shall slay them because of your simplicity and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Okay? For you that don't take heed to the message. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Okay, and this is what the message is all about for the elect. We're fishing the elect. We're warning you people, and that's what's going to happen to you. We're prophesying that, that you're going to get destroyed, but then we're also prophesying and giving, delivering the gospel unto the, the, the elect, man, that, that, that you will, will be quiet from the fear of evil, man, that you will dwell safely under the shadow of the Almighty, under the umbrella, under the wings, in the pavilion, okay? So, Lord willing, this was edifying, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rachach Wadash, double honor to our apostles, bishops, the elders of the great millstone, and greetings, salutations, and blessings, and much love unto you, hopeful elect. Yeah, man, this is, this is nearly that I told you so moment. A lot of people ain't hearing it. Okay? And it's not because a couple of storms hit Florida. It's a lot more going on than just a couple of storms hitting Florida. Okay? And there's a lot more to come. So with that, shalom.